Many people believe that multitasking makes them super productive, but in fact, the opposite is true. If you want to bring your performance to the next level, you need to become a pro at unitasking. Quick switching between tasks or getting interrupted just for a few seconds results in attention residue, attention that stayed on the previous thought. This attention residue causes about 23 minutes of lost productivity after switching, interruption or distraction. Just consider what it means. It takes 23 minutes to regain focus and get back to deep work. Disruptions are more damaging than we think and they are everywhere. And unfortunately, the overload of information is there to stay. So it is imperative to learn how to manage our attention effectively. Especially that attention residue doesn't only impair productivity. The quality of our thinking suffers too. On top of it, research shows that the more our mind wanders, the more unhappy we feel. And according to the researchers, our mind wanders about 47% of our waking time. Yes, we are all much more distracted than we think. So next time you allow yourself to check who sent you the WhatsApp message while you are in the deep cognitive work, think twice. The cost of this 10 second glance is 10 seconds and 23 minutes and superficial quality of your thought and harmful effect on your mental health. So how about we take a step towards becoming a pro at unitasking now? Here are four ways I cut the attention residue in my work. Number one, ban all notifications on your phone and computer. I always have all notifications off, but when I start my deep work block, I also switch my phone to do not disturb mode. And if I'm not mistaken, all smartphones nowadays have a way to switch all off by changing status to some sort of focus time. So invest some time to learn about this functionality of your phone and start using it. It will save you lots of time later on. There are some helpful apps to support you if you cannot stay away from some apps on your phone or on your computer. They restrict your access for the specific defined time. What I prefer, however, are the apps that support focus time and at the same time track my progress. I use, for example, Forest app and Rescue Time to keep on top of my progress. I will link them below for you. Are you using any apps to improve your focus? Please share your recommendations in the comments below. Number two, block time on your calendar for deep work. I cannot repeat this often enough. Every single of my high-performing clients starts with one block of 60 or 90 minutes. After some weeks, they start experiencing the benefits. And soon after, they all reorganize and block a whole day for undisturbed deep work. Thanks to time blocking, many of my clients stopped working at night and continued achieving more than ever before. Three, clean up your office and desktop. The more cluttered the space around you, the more opportunities to get distracted. Look around and identify stuff that should not be on your desk and remove it. See how a clean desk creates clarity of your thoughts and stimulates focus. Number four, block time on your calendar for your email. Do you find yourself stuck reading and responding to emails for hours and hours? Do not allow your mailbox to dictate your program of the day and add to attention residue. I don't know about you, but my mailbox fills up faster than I can blink. And much of the stuff I only want to read once per day or per week or not at all. It is easy to get it under control if you have an assistant pre-screening your emails. Or instead, you can employ some intelligent software that will do the job and save you time going through your emails. I am now using Unroll Me App and I love it that every single day I see in my mailbox only this what I want to see. Take your decision to fight the attention residue now. Cut some of the interruptions that cause it by applying one of the tips above and your performance will skyrocket. How are you staying focused on deep work? What is the biggest distraction that breaks your attention? How will you eliminate it?